So, my friend and fellow YouTuber, Zach from Lab Coats, and I are building a Tesla coil, a special type of Tesla coil called a dual resonance solid state Tesla coil. And I need to start building mine because we're in a bit of a competition and the deadline is in September. A Tesla coil is made of various types of hardware, but I need custom hardware and I don't know where to get that. So without further ado, I'm gonna sleep on it and see if that solution comes to me in a dream. So good night, I'm going to bed. All right. Me, 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 me. What a beautiful dream. Let me check the front door. Okay, what the heck do I do? Reprinting time. Good start. Is that covered on the warranty? The, okay, upside down assembly is definitely the way to go. Filament sensor holder. Filament holder. Next is the auto level sensor and touch screen. All right, I found out the worst part of assembling this. It's that I need to cut this zip tie in here. Yeah, how would you do it? Exactly, not with scissors because there's no place to go like that. So I have very pokey tweezers. I'm poking it in one specific line and uh, weakening it until it snaps. I got the zip ties off. The next step is leveling the print bed. Now I take the included SD card and plug it in and download the software. It's called Kira. And here we are, I've opened up the flash drive, you drag Cura into the applications, and you open up Cura, and here we are in the program. Now you select your printer, I have the longer LK4X, and then we select our test print, which is a 50 caliber bullet, you know, standard quality, you know. No, 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 we're not going to print a 50 caliber bullet, we're just going to print a detailed boat called Benchy, and see how the printer does. The motors are literally silent. All I can hear is the fan. Got lots of data over here, and I can tune it live. If I'm seeing that the print isn't looking right and the layers aren't looking right, then I can change the offset live. But I'm not gonna do that because I like it. Now we just gotta wait two hours. All right, it's done. Boom. Let's check out that detail few lines off the surface, but pretty good. Oh wait, what am I doing? You just take this thing off, and then you oingo boingo it, the spring steel plate, and Bob's your uncle, your print. So our printer's working great. So I think it's time we design the secondary coil for the Tesla coil I wanna make. So let's go into Onshape and see what I'm thinking of. Okay, here you can see a blue part. It is a six inch diameter hollow cylinder that I also put a half cylinder into the center of. And I'm gonna make two of these hollow cylinders and glue them together to make a full length 
secondary coil form, which I will wrap many turns of wire around to make the secondary coil of my Tesla coil. Now, normally you would just get this hollow cylinder in the form of a PVC pipe from Home Depot. But since I want this solid cylinder going through the center of the secondary coil, buying a PVC pipe and modifying it into this design would be a little annoying. It would involve gluing and sanding a cylinder to fit into this hollow cylinder. So that's why I want to 3D print this design. All right, we're at the 11 hour and 42 minute mark. This thing's going strong. We're doing 30% infill and it's six inches diameter and it's gonna be 5.5 inches tall. And check out this resolution. That is smooth. I think I can wind a Tesla coil around this, a secondary coil to be exact. And huh, what an interesting center structure. I believe the purpose of that will be revealed in a future video. Well, here we are, 32 hours and seven minutes later, and our print is done. And might I say, it's looking flawless. For the most part, the base came off pretty smooth, except for these rough parts. So I'll have to sand these parts off. So the last part that I want to design in this video is this gray piece. I'm calling it a toroid former because I'm using a helical aluminum toroid as seen in this Instructables. I think it'll give my coil a cool look. Also, there's some fins right here that are coming up from the former and that's gonna fit into the secondary coil and be glued in place. And these fins will allow the top load to be secured to the secondary coil. I just started to print and uh, I think this part is too low, so I'm going to raise it up. So while this is printing, I'll tell you a little bit more about the Longer LK4X printer. So if it wasn't clear already, the Longer LK4X is a powerful, reliable, affordable FDM 3D printer. It features a direct dual gear extruder, meaning that your filament will be accurately extruded and it's compatible with PLA, TPU, ABS, PETG, and wood filament. It also has intelligent 16 point auto leveling, which makes leveling super easy. I've never had a printer before, but as you guys saw, I got it right on my first try. It's also easy to remove prints with the flexible steel platform, and the assembling took me about two to three hours, but if you are a little more handy than I am, it probably would take you about 10 minutes to assemble. The large touchscreen and user-friendly interface gives you useful real-time printing information, and the fans on the extruder are quiet enough that I can sleep with the printer running. If filament runs out or the power is lost during printing, the algorithms in the motherboard record and detect the printing progress so you can resume printing after a mid-print interruption. The longer LK4X also doesn't use much power. It fits on my desk, yet has a great build volume as seen here. The belts that control the position of the print head are easy to tighten, and I've had no issues with clogging due to the presence of a Teflon tube in the extruder nozzle. Thank you, Longer, for this great printer. All right, the bottom of the toroid former is done printing. I've already started to remove the, uh, I don't know, bottom layer. Oh, let's see if it fits in the other part. Boom. It fits. All right, well, thank you all for watching. As you can see, last video project is in the background right there. But future video project is in my hand right now. And uh, if you're thinking Mega Man, then you're thinking correctly because uh, I think we might just make a pretty cool Tesla coil in the next video. And big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you guys want to support me, uh, follow me on Instagram or follow me on Patreon, and I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. You remember the plasma toroid thing I made and the inventor of it? Well, we're friends now. And if you want to see plasma toroid updates, go to his Telegram channel and join it. It's like a mad scientist group chat. And here are some things he's doing right now.
It's crazy. He's making rainbow plasma toroids. I think he's going to send me one of those. Uh, he made a new version of the plasma toroid generator. Definitely check out his Telegram channel. He does a lot of cool stuff. Thanks for watching Back Maxi. Tate out.